Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. Today we've got a quick guide showing you how to use WhatsApp Web in any browser so you can access your WhatsApp messages right from your desktop. It's more convenient because you have a keyboard to type out long messages instead of relying on your phone's keyboard. Let's take a look. So the first thing you'll need to know to access WhatsApp Web, it's pretty simple. Of course, you need a smartphone uh, where you already have your WhatsApp account set up and your phone will need to have a camera so that you can scan a QR code. Uh, we don't imagine that anybody will have a problem with that, but I uh, just wanted to make sure you know that. And of course, your computer will need to be connected to the internet as well. So the first thing you want to do to set up WhatsApp Web is you want to go to web.whatsapp.com. Now you can do this in any browser. You can also download the WhatsApp app for your computer uh, on Windows or Mac. It's pretty much the exact same interface uh, if you prefer to have a dedicated app on your desktop instead of visiting a website. Uh, you can use that if you like. It'll be pretty much the same thing. So once you get to this page, you're going to see a QR code uh, that comes up, and you'll need to scan that with your WhatsApp app on your phone. So to do that, as this guide says, first open WhatsApp, and then tap the Menu button in the top right corner if you're on Android, or the Settings icon if you're using an iPhone, and choose WhatsApp Web. You'll see a list of devices where you're already logged in if you've done this before, but the, no matter if you are or not, you can go ahead and tap the plus in the top right corner. This will launch your phone's camera, and you want to go ahead and point your phone's camera right at that QR code, which should immediately load up your WhatsApp chat messages as you're seeing right here. Give it a second and it'll load up all your messages. It may take a minute if you use a lot of them. Now while this is loading, we should talk about what, what WhatsApp Web can and can't do. So you can do pretty much everything in WhatsApp Web you would do on the app. You can talk to people, you can download media that they've sent, uh, you can view info about your contacts, you can change alert settings, you can send GIFs and stickers and all that good stuff. Uh, but we have noted here that you can't do a few things with WhatsApp Web. Uh, you can't send broadcasts, you can't make calls from your desktop, uh, you can't post a status update, and you can't change your download settings. You're also limited to using just one browser at a time. This is one of the biggest drawbacks of WhatsApp Web, unlike an app like Telegram, where you can have it on as many phones and desktops and laptops as you want at once. WhatsApp will complain when you switch browsers, so you may have to re-authenticate it if you switch to a different browser. And as you see, after just a moment, it'll load all of our chats up. So this should look pretty familiar if you're used to WhatsApp. You, of course, have your uh, account in the top left corner where you can change your profile picture and name. You can view your friend's statuses here if they've posted any. You can start new chats, and you can start new groups. Uh, you can look at some settings to change, like notifications and the wallpaper and the chat. So it's a lot like using WhatsApp. When you tap on a chat, you'll be able to see it on the right side and review everything. So, of course, you'll be able to uh, download any media. You can send pictures and GIFs uh, and things like that. So it's really quite simple. And it, like I said, it gives you the, uh, the keyboard um, so that you don't have to type on your phone. So you just type like you would normally. You can send a, a, an audio message. You can send attachments in the top right uh, and click on the menu button to see info about your contact or to mute them or delete them. So uh, WhatsApp Web is really quite simple, as we said. Um, it's pretty handy, but it's a little bit wonky if you're using it on multiple desktops at once. Uh, so when you're done, um, you probably want to log out if you're on a shared computer. If you're on your own computer, you'll stay logged in, and that's fine because it's convenient. Um, just click on the three-dot menu in the top left corner here and click Log Out and you'll be able to jump out of that interface there. So that's all you need to know really about using WhatsApp Web. Uh, it's definitely something you should try if you often type on WhatsApp on your phone. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to use here. Uh, so definitely give that a look. And this works in any browser. As we said, you can also download the app for Windows, uh, whichever you prefer. So thanks for watching this uh, quick walkthrough. Uh, for more like this, be sure to subscribe to Make Use of's YouTube channel, where we post uh, walkthroughs like this, as well as tips on the latest tech, and even some giveaways and reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.